Let's will check it. What it is here? Uh, we are we are going to check it. What is the single standard deviation confidence interval and difference of standard deviations of confidence interval? These two we need to check it in the last sample. Okay, and also small sample. So with that we can finish our this topic. Okay. Now, now first we are moving to the write that everybody note down the question. Find hundred into one minus alpha percentage confidence interval for single standard deviation. Single standard deviation in large sample case. In large sample case. Okay, this is a question. Then how can we find? Same thing, we'll write that. X1, X2, so on up to Xn be a random sample drawn from a normal population with mean mu and variance sigma square should be unknown. Remember that. For the standard deviation, if the variance is unknown, then only we can apply the standard deviation test. Otherwise, we cannot apply. Remember that. Okay. Then, here what is that? Here we have a last sample. Then we use the estimator is what? Small s square. Sigma square estimator what we use? Small s square. Because here we are using the large sample. Okay. Then what is the small s square formula? 1 by n summation over i xi minus x bar whole square. Then in this case, then what is the formula? What is that a test statistic? To test the single standard deviation. Can anybody tell me? Under root, under root 2 chi square minus chi under square root 2, minus two, under minus two n minus 1. Okay. That is equal to z is equal to under root 2 chi square minus under root 2n minus 1. That is fine. Okay. But here, this is we are doing the transformation. So, before, whenever you are going for the calculation of the confidence interval, we need to take the z is equal to small s minus expectation of small s by standard error of small s. Okay. Which follows normal 0, 1. Then what is the expectation of s? That is s z is equal to small s minus expectation of s, small s means sigma divided by what is the standard error? That is small s by root 2 n. This is the formula we use to find the confidence interval. So what is that? Z is equal to small s minus sigma divided by small s by root 2 n. This is a formula we apply. Okay. And by the definition of the confidence interval, what do we have? By the definition of the confidence interval, what do we have? This is a test probability statistic. Okay, let it be. Yeah, probability of C1 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to C2 is equal to 1 minus alpha. Is it right? Yes. Is it right? Ma yeah. Now in place of theta, what do we require to find? What is the question? They are asking you to find the confidence interval for single standard deviation. So in place of theta, what do we need to take? Small s. S minus. Theta is sigma. a parameter here. Yeah, sigma less than or equal to C2, which is equal to 1 minus alpha. Is it clear? Is it clear, everybody? Yes, yeah. Yes, now, you just, after this, after this, see, we know that by the C, from the standard normal table, from standard normal table with alpha percent level of significance for Two tail test, we can find what do you can find? Probability of Z alpha by 2 is less than or equal to Z, less than or equal to Z alpha by 2. Okay, this is minus Z alpha. 
minus z alpha by 2 is equal to this probability this is always will be equal to 1 minus alpha you are taking alpha percent level of significance so the confidence interval what will be giving the confidence coefficient is 1 minus alpha we can write this then so what is the z you just substitute one second yeah what is the z you just substitute minus z alpha by 2 less than or equal to what is the z formula small x minus sigma by mm? s, s by 2 root n. root 2 n no. not 2 root n root 2 n okay z statistic what we have written for the single sd that we have taken here which is equal to z alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha now from this part just remember what is that just i want to find only the sigma so these all the things i want to remove then do the calculation and let me know what are the c1 and c2 what are the confidence interval limits what are the confidence limits everybody do it and let me know i hope everybody understood till here did you understand can you all reply Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah. Now do it. What we can do? How can we do? First, I want to remove this S by root 2N. That means multiply. So by multiplying this part, you can remove this part from the middle. So multiply both the sides minus Z alpha by 2. What is that? small s in small s by square root 2 n less than or equal to s minus sigma less than or equal to z alpha by 2 small s by root 2 n which is equal to 1 minus alpha and this s also i want to remove then you you have to take you need to subtract with s so what you can do this is minus s minus z alpha by 2 small s by square root 2 n less than or equal to minus s plus s will be cancelled then the remaining term is a minus sigma less than or equal to minus s plus z alpha by 2 small s by root 2 n is equal to 1 minus alpha then what you'll get it here minus i want to remove because i want only sigma in between so what i have to do multiply both the sides with the minus 1 then what you'll be getting here this is equal to probability of s minus into minus plus and minus into minus plus z alpha by 2 into small s by root 2 n and whenever you are multiplying with the negative sign then inequalities will change less than or equal to will convert to the greater than or equal to minus into minus plus sigma and greater than or equal to minus into minus plus s plus into minus minus z alpha by 2 into small s by root 2 n which is equal to 1 minus alpha. This is you just compare with the definition of the confidence interval. Okay, this is the definition of the confidence interval. C1 is this one. Okay, sorry. You just do that. What is that? Less than or equal to. So if it is there, A greater than B greater than C means you can write C less than B less than A. So here also I'm writing the same probability of S minus Z by Z, Z alpha by 2 into S by root 10 root 2 n less than or equal to sigma less than or equal to small s plus z alpha by 2 into small s by root 2 n okay which is equal to 1 minus alpha okay what is the c1 then do the comparison what is the c1 c1 is equal to this part and c2 is this part then what is the confidence interval which is equal to small s minus z alpha by 2 into s by root 2 n comma s plus z alpha by 2 into small s by root 2 n is it clear everybody what is the confidence interval yes ma'am yes ma'am yes any doubt anybody no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am in a class there are 37 students i'm getting answer from only five students Is everybody following? Can I get a reply? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma
okay rule number 42 bhavya rule number yes, 42 bhavya yes bhavya now tell me okay everybody take the question i'll be asking you bhavya you just note down the question yes, next the question is find 100 into 1 minus alpha percentage confidence interval for confidence interval for difference of difference of standard deviations difference of standard deviations in large sample case in large sample case yeah tell me so here what is what we are doing difference of standard deviation that means two difference means we need to take the two samples okay so what are the two samples first i am taking x1 x2 so on up to xn xn1 here n1 should be greater than 30 because it is a last sample case they mentioned X one, X two, so on up to X n one is a random sample drawn from a normal population. So normal population with what? With mean, mu one, and variance sigma one squared. Okay, which is unknown. Okay, similarly, another sample, two samples. We need to take difference of S D means. So y one, y two, so on up to y n two, n two greater than thirty is a random sample drawn from a normal population with mean mu two and variance sigma two square, and sigma two square is also unknown. If these two are unknown, we use it as estimators. so these are the last samples then the estimators are smallest one smallest one square is the estimator of the sigma one square what is the formula 1 by n1 summation over i xi minus x bar whole square and estimator of sigma two square is the s2 square what is the formula 1 by n2 summation over j yj minus y bar whole square this is the sample what do we have and after this what do we require to calculate here here we need to find the difference of sd means then what is the test statistic test statistic for difference of sds in large sample that is we need to write yes bavya rule number 42 tell me what is the z formula large sample hmm. difference of sds s1 minus s2 Minus sigma one minus sigma two. I mean, um, fine, fine. Let it be. Yeah, sigma one minus sigma two by under root sigma one square by two n one plus no, sigma. No, not sigma one square. Sigma is unknown. S one square. S one square by two n one plus S two square by two n two. And you may get it out. Why we are taking in the numerator sigma one minus sigma two? This is the expected value under H not. Anyway, it will be zero. If you know or unknown, it will be zero only. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, which follows normal zero comma one. Okay, and now what is the definition of the confidence interval? Probability of C one less than or equal to difference of S D S. We need to find the confidence interval. So sigma one minus sigma two less than or equal to C two one minus alpha. You need to find what is a C one C two. Okay, then by the def, what is that from the standard normal table with the alpha percent level of significance for two tailed test, you can find probability of minus Z alpha by two less than or equal Z less than or equal to Z alpha by two is always one minus alpha. So in place of Z, substitute this part and let me know what is a C one C two. Can you do it, everybody? Can yes, you do it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please do it. Yes, ma'am. Let me know the confidence intervals.
make it fast don't tell me the answers i'll ask to the one i'll ask to the students and those only have to reply Yeah, it's done or not? How much time do you have? First, whether you finish done. or not, let me know. Done. Okay. Rule number twenty-one. What is that? Lakshmi Jyoti. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear. Did you find? Last step, ma'am. One minute. Okay. Rule number forty-four. P Vaishnavi Sri, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Finished. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me what are the C one and C two formulas? Oh, where is it written? Yeah, yeah. Ma'am, C one equals to yes, ma'am. Yeah. C one is equal to C one and C two. Let me know. Hmm. C one equals to S one minus S two. Okay. Minus. Hmm. Z alpha by two. Hmm. Under root. Hmm. S one square by two n one plus S two square by two n two. Very good. Okay. C two. S one minus S two plus one minute. Oh. One. Yeah. S one minus S two plus Z alpha by two. Okay. Under root S one square by two n one plus S two square by two n two. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, everybody got this one only. The conference limits. Everybody got it. Conference limits yes, for the difference of SD. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, yes, ma okay. Last sample is over. Now we need to move to the. What is the next one? Small what is the next sample. one? Small sample. Yeah. Note it down. Everybody take the question. Fine. Hundred percent, hundred into one minus alpha percentage. Confidence interval for. Confidence interval for. Single standard deviation. Don't write that. Single variance. In last sample, we'll take it as a standard deviation. In a small sample, we'll take it as a variance. Single variance. In small sample. In small sample case, yes. Now do it. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. I'm taking here one single variance means we need to take x one, x two, so on up to x n. So which is a random sample of size less than or equal to thirty, drawn from a normal population with mean mu and the variance sigma squared. Okay, this is the data what we have. Okay, and now to test the single variance in small sample, which test we are applying? Can anybody say? Chi square. Chi square. Very good. Very good. To test the single variance, we use chi square test when if the sample is small sample. Okay. Yes. Now you just tell me what is the test statistic for chi square? Chi square square by sigma square. Ah, chi square by sigma square. N s square by sigma square. Okay, n s square by sigma square. We have okay. Now you know that what is the s square formula? One by n summation over i x i minus x bar whole square. And which follows? What is that? Which follows normal zero comma one? Chi square n minus one. Very good. N minus one is what? 
degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom. What is the use of degrees of freedom? Is Why find table value? Table value. Yes. So table value. In the small sample, if you in a small sample test, if you want to see the table value, we need level of significance, degrees of freedom, and alternative. Okay. So by using this table value, we do the comparison of this. This is the meaning. Is this one? Okay. Now after this, by the definition of the chi-square table. By the definition of the chi-square table, with alpha percent level of significance and n minus one degrees of freedom for two-tailed test is confidence interval means we should have a lower tail and upper tail. That's what we are taking a two-tailed test is. So what do you have? Chi-square distribution is a, uh, what is that? Symmetric distribution or a positively skewed distribution or a negatively skewed distribution? Positive 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 positive. Positive. Very good. So for the positively skewed distribution means what are the limits of the chi-square? Zero minus alpha percentage to chi-square alpha percentage. No. Zero to infinity. Yeah, zero to infinity. Okay. So from that one, from the chi-square, we can write this is chi-square alpha by two less than or equal to chi-square. Less than or equal to chi square one minus alpha by two, which is always one minus alpha. This is what will be taken. Okay, now you just check it here. What is the chi square? You know that. Substitute the chi square formula here. N S square by sigma square. Okay, N S square by sigma square, which is called one minus alpha. And next after this. After this, we need a variance confidence interval. So, by the definition of the confidence interval, what do you have? Probability of what is the definition? C one less than or equal sigma one sigma square less than or equal C two. So, C one C two we need to find, right? So, we require in middle only the sigma square because confidence interval for variance we need. So, in the middle we require only the sigma square. So, remove this one. So, what I have to do then? How can I remove? Divide by one by n s square. Chi square alpha by two into one by n s square. square. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, less than or equal to one by n s square. N s square is going to cancel. What is the remaining then? One by sigma square. One by sigma square. Less than or equal to chi square one minus alpha by two into one by n s square is equal to one minus alpha. This is I'm writing like this. You just check it. Chi square alpha by two by n s square less than or equal to one by sigma square less than or equal to chi square one minus alpha by two by n n s square is equal to one minus alpha. Can I write like this? Check it. Yes. yes. So now here we require what is that sigma square? We require not one by sigma square. Then what do you have to do? Reciprocal. Very good. You need to do the reciprocal. So reciprocal, if you are doing, means what is that? One by this part. Okay. Reciprocal means c. X is the value. So reciprocal of x means what? One by x. Okay. So if you have a one by x, then what is the reciprocal? One by one by x, which is equal to x. Is it clear, everybody? Reciprocal. Did you understand? Yes. 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 So do the reciprocal. So one by this part. So what you'll be getting? One by a by n square by yeah n s square by chi square alpha by alpha by two very good and so whenever you are doing the reciprocal the inequalities also will change right so it will be taken as a greater than or equal to and one by one by sigma square equal to sigma square and greater than or equal to what you'll get it. N S square by chi square one minus alpha by two. Is it right, ma'am? Generally, chi square one minus alpha by two is left tailed. No, ma'am. Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. That has to be in the left side. No, ma'am. Yes, dear. Left side only. Above probability of chi square alpha by two is right side and. 
like first it will come as chi square 1 minus alpha yes. by 2 less than or equal to chi square less than or equal to chi square alpha by 2 no ma'am huh. yes ma'am but, but we have chi square no, no, no. okay 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 that is okay let me finish okay okay i understood your doubt i'll explain i'll explain let me finish this i'll explain yeah and after this after this what you will have this is equal to so this is what let me finish this and i'll come to your doubt and then this is equal to, how can I write ns square c if you are having a greater than b greater than c c less than b less than a I'm writing this this is ns square by chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 less than or equal to sigma square less than or equal to ns square by chi square alpha by 2 which is equal to 1 minus alpha then what are the confidence interval confidence interval is equal to c1 c2 is equal to so what is the value ns square by chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 comma ns square by chi square alpha by 2 these are the confidence intervals okay yeah so one minute you just take any problem in your data okay i'll be giving you the values i'll be giving you the values chi square values one minute let me take a question and i'll explain did you understand up till here is it clear Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma yeah, take that for single SD, you know. Mm. Yeah, note it down. Chi square is a 14. Just do the calculation, simple calculation here. Not chi square. So, so, one second, one second. S square is a 28. Small s square is a 28. And uh, n is equal to 10. n is equal to 10. Chi square alpha by 2 is 19.02. Chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is 2.7. Find the confidence interval and let me know. What did I tell you? N is equal to 10 and small s square is equal to 28. Chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 at the degrees of freedom it is 19.023 and chi square alpha by 2 is a 2.700. Find the confidence intervals. C1 is uh, 103.703 mm -hmm. and C2 is 14.72. 113 you got it? Yes ma'am. C1 is what did you get it? 103, 103, 103, 103. 103. Okay, C2? 14.72. 14.72. Yes, dear. Yeah. So, what you told? It is right. By mistake, I have taken this one. So, what is that here? You need to take here it as a 1 minus alpha by 2. Right. Who told this one? Good observation. So, it is here it is a 1 minus alpha by 2 and here it is alpha by 2. Yeah. Very good, dear. Somebody, who told this one? Somebody asked about the doubt this one? Soumya ma'am. Very good Soumya. So in the chi square, while drawing the chi square distribution, the curve, what you are taking? This is a chi square table. So left tail we are taking one thing and left, right tail we are taking. So chi square, what we are taking left tail and right tail? Did you remember? Yes ma'am, chi square 1 minus alpha by 2, here chi square alpha by 2. Where chi square 1 minus alpha by 2, where Let's chi square? Left side left chi side. square alpha 1 minus yes. alpha. Left side chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 we are taking and right side we are taking chi square alpha by 2, right? So, the limits also you need to take like that only in the previous for the z also what we have taken, z we have taken, by mistake I have taken this. So, yeah, z is equal for the z here minus z alpha by 2 and here it is a z alpha by 2. So, that's what, what we are taking, z lies in between minus z alpha by 2 and plus z alpha by 2 we have taken. And here also for the chi square you need to take chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 and chi square alpha by 2 you need to take. Is it clear? Got it? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yeah. Same thing again. So you just do this one. Do the calculation. Let me know. Probability of chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 less than or equal to chi square less than or equal to chi square alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha. Now substitute chi square is equal to ns square by sigma square and let me know what is the c1, c2. Do the calculation and let me know everybody. What is the c1 and what is the c2? Same thing. Just now we finished. I am just changing the lower limit and upper limit. That's it. 
ns square chi square alpha by 2 c1 okay and next ns square by chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is c2 got it everybody yes yes yeah till here is it clear any doubts anywhere no ma'am yes and now we are moving to the last one it is a uh, write that note uh, note on the question find the confidence in 100 into 1 minus alpha percentage 100 into 1 minus alpha percentage confidence interval for ratio of variances ratio of variances in small sample okay in small sample okay why we are taking this ratio of variances i'll tell you na you just check it if you have a if you have a small sample and you want to test to the difference of standard deviations which test we are applying which test we are applying f test f test yeah f test so what is the f test formula s1 square by s2 square s1 square by s2 square what is the general formula of the f distribution general formula of the f distribution ratio of two chi square variates divided by with its degrees of freedom is it right did you remember so what is the chi square what is the f distribution definition f distribution definition means it is a ratio of two chi square variates divided with its degrees of freedom okay that means what is that here for example we have a two samples x1 x2 so on up to xn1 is a one sample okay and this sample is following the chi square distribution with n1 minus 1 degrees of freedom and another sample x2 x3 uh, sorry y1 y2 so on up to yn yn2 is another sample which is also follows the chi square distribution with n2 n2 minus 1 degrees of freedom then f is equal to ratio of okay what chi square distribution chi square 1 with n1 minus 1 degrees of freedom chi square 2 with n2 minus 1 degrees of freedom ratio of two chi squares divided with its corresponding degrees of freedom so chi square 1 is what is the degrees of freedom you have here in 1 minus 1 And here, chi square two. What do you have degrees of freedom? N two minus one. Is it clear, everybody? What is the f distribution? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And yes, what is the chi square definition? What is the chi square definition? Sum of squares of standard normal variance. Okay. Sum of squares of standard normal variance. Okay, this is a chi-square definition. Then, what is the z? Z i means you know that x i minus mu by sigma whole square. So, which is sigma is the respective of i. So, how can I write x i minus mu whole square by sigma square? Can I write like this? Can I write like this? Understanding, everybody? Yeah. Then. Summation x i minus mu whole square is nothing but here mu. If you don't know, we'll replace with the x bar. Okay. Then what is the capital S square formula? Capital S square is what? One by n minus one summation over i x i minus x bar whole square. So in the numerator, what do you can substitute? Check it. N minus one into s square. Yeah, summation x i minus mu whole square. Mu is nothing but x bar only. So what is the formula? N minus one s square. What you can write then? That is equal to in the numerator n minus one into capital S square by sigma square. Understanding everybody? 
See, this is a very important point. See, listen one second. I'm telling you. See, chi-square definition is what is the chi-square definition? Sum of squares of standard normal variable. Okay. So z i is nothing but what x i minus mu by sigma whole square. Then what is this? This is you can write it as x i minus mu whole square by sigma square. And if mu is unknown, we replace with the x bar x i minus x bar whole square by sigma square. Okay, and which is we know that capital S square is equal to one by n minus one summation x i minus x bar whole square. Is it right? Is it right, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma so summation x i minus x bar whole square you can write it as a n minus one into s square, n minus one into capital S square by sigma square. So chi square is equal to you can write this formula. Remember, okay. Now what I'm telling is, yeah. So what I'm telling is f is nothing but it is a ratio of two chi square variates. Okay, this chi square one is the first sample chi square variate, and chi square two is the second sample chi square variate, and divided by its degrees of freedom. N one minus one is the first sample degrees of freedom. N two minus one is the second sample degrees of freedom. Now you just check it. Chi square chi one square. That means first sample. This is equal. What do you can write by using the chi square definition? You can write that here. It is the first sample. That's what I'm taking. In one minus one capital S square by sigma square divided by n one minus one divided by n two minus one S two square divided by sigma two square. Okay, divided by n two minus one. See, n one minus one, n one minus one is going to cancel. N two minus one, n two minus one is going to cancel. So, what is the remaining one then? F is equal to S one square by sigma one square divided by C. What you can write here? This is divided by S two square by sigma two square, which is equal to what do you can write? S one square by S two square into denominator. Denominator will be the numerator. Sigma two square by sigma one square. This is a F distribution. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And under H naught, what we are taking under H naught, sigma one square is equal to sigma two square. We'll take it. Okay. What is that? Sigma one is equal to sigma two means sigma one square is equal to sigma two square. So under H naught, this term is going to be one. That's what directly we have taken. F is equal to S one square by S two square. Did you understand why we are taking only S one square by S two square? Under H naught, this value becomes one. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. So, whenever you are going for the confidence interval without the null hypothesis, what is the formula? That only we need to take. In the previous confidence interval, also you have taken expectation of S one minus S two. That is sigma one minus sigma two. You haven't taken that as a zero. Did you remember? Yes, yes? ma'am. Yeah. So here also you need to find the ratio. See in a F distribution, here you are not having the difference. Do you have a difference in the F ratio? Here you have a ratio of the variances. That's what in the question I have given. Find the confidence interval for ratio of the variances. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. yes. And now. Here also you just do the same thing. So F formula you understood that F formula is what S one square by S two square into sigma two square by sigma one square. This is a F formula test statistic. Okay. Now by the definition of the probability of the F distribution, what do we have? F is a positively skewed distribution or a negatively skewed or a symmetric? Positively positive skewed. Positively skewed. Positively skewed. So positively skewed means here the limits it will be taken zero to infinity. So here we cannot take minus f alpha by two. So what do you need to take then? What should be the lower limit and what should be the upper limit? Of 
less than or equal to f alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha. Now you just see this is what here, here sigma 2 square by sigma, we require ratio of the variances only. Ratio of the variances, what do we need? C1 less than or equal to sigma 1 square by sigma 2 square less than or equal to C2. This is sigma 1 square by sigma 2 square we require in the middle. Ratio of the two variances means this is what we require. But here you have this one also, remove it then. What do you have to do then? Hmm. Multiply with S2 square by S1 square. Yes, multiply by S2 square by S1 square. So S2 square, S2 square, S1 square, S1 square is going to cancel. Remaining is the sigma 2 square by sigma 1 square. F alpha by 2 into S2 square by S1 square is equal to 1 minus alpha. Now, we require sigma 1 square by sigma 2 square. But here we have a reverse. Then what do you need to do? Reciprocal. 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 Then, oh. Yeah, do the reciprocal. Then what you will be getting? Probability of 1 by F, 1 minus alpha by 2 into reciprocal of this one is equal to what you will be getting? S1 square by S2. S1 square by S2 square. Yeah, S1 square by S2 square. And less than or equal to what you'll be getting? Greater than or Sigma equal to. Greater, than or, greater than or equal to. What you'll get it next? Sigma 1 square by Sigma 2 square. Sigma 1 square by Sigma 2 square. Greater than or equal to. Here, 1 by F alpha by 2 into S1 square by S2 square is equal to 1 minus alpha. Okay. And now, here, this is how can I write? This is A greater than B greater than C. So what you can write? C less than B less than A. So what I can write? 1 by F alpha by 2 into S1 square by S2 square less than or equal to sigma 1 square by sigma 2 square less than or equal to 1 by F 1 minus alpha by 2 into S1 square by S2 square. This is a confidence interval C. This is a C1. This is a C2. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everybody understood this? Any yes, doubt anywhere? No. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Tomorrow, with this, we finish our entire theory for dear. Okay, coming to the unit four and this conference interval notes, I'll be giving you before the 26th. Okay, your last teaching day is the 26th. So, before 26th, I'll be giving you the complete material about the Unit 4 procedures and this conference interval. So with this, we finished a complete, complete theory syllabus. We did not leave even a single definition also. 100% theory syllabus is done. Now tomorrow, I'll start with the Excel practicals. Okay. And everybody, Listen carefully. Tomorrow first, I may ask at any time the non-parametric procedures and the test statistics. Be thorough with it formally. Tomorrow, I may ask at any time the formally. Clear? Yeah. Any yes, doubts anywhere? Is it clear, everybody? Till now, what I have explained? How yes, ma'am. The conference interval is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Let me take an attendance. One, eight, eleven, twelve, twenty two. 27, 29, 30. 27 present, ma'am. Okay. 
37 is present. Forty six, forty eight. Yeah. Absent is are one, two, eight, eleven, twelve, twenty two, twenty nine, thirty, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, forty six, forty eight. Rule number thirty seven. I can see her, but she okay, thirty three, thirty three. Monica, fine. Okay, fine. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.